cows can lay down when they want to. Albert Strauss and takes and pride in the milk. organic milk produced by his cows. The herd also creates a lot of methane gas. Livestock, according to the UN, accounts for as much greenhouse gas as planes, trains, and cars combined. Underneath the cover, there's a perforated pipe, and the gas is accumulated. But Strauss is one of a still rare breed of farmers who've taken a big step toward cutting their methane output. His digester squeezes out the cow manure's liquid and pours it into a pond where the gas is trapped under a canvas cover. So the bacteria digest the, the, the manures, the fibers and the pro, uh, sugars and the fibers, and give off methane gas, the 65 to 70 percent methane. That gas is then converted into electricity. We offset all our uses on the farm through our energy production. Energy that even powers Strauss's electric car, with enough surplus to be sold back to the local utility company. We're getting a check monthly as well as a bill monthly. <laughs> Earlier this year, infrared cameras documented a massive leak of methane from a Southern California power plant. It helped drive the state's legislature to crack down on short-lived but intense so-called super pollutants. Under its new law, California will have 15 years to cut its methane and hydrofluorocarbon emissions 40% from current levels. And it promises to help farmers with limited financial aid to reach that goal. Strauss believes that his fellow farmers can be a big factor in the fight to reduce greenhouse gases. We calculated if we had two-thirds of dairies in California put in methane digesters, it offsets the effect of a million cars. And make California once again an environmental trendsetter for the rest of the world. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Marshall, California.